India and Russia have declared bold ambitions of building the world's most powerful fusion reactor. Indian government has begun the process of finalizing the sites for new Russian-designed nuclear power plants in India. The revelation has been made by the country's external affairs minister, S. Jaishankar. This at a time when the India-US Civil Nuclear Energy Cooperation Agreement is yet to take off. So will nuclear energy forge the India-Russia friendship in the 21st century? How is Russia helping India, the world's most populous democracy, meet its surging energy demands? And with India pledging to cut fossil fuel emissions, is nuclear energy the answer to abundant clean energy? India and Russia have shared a historic and enduring bilateral relationship spanning centuries. The relationship reached new milestone in December last year when India signed two important amendments with Russia for the future units of the Kudankulam nuclear power project in southern state of Tamil Nadu. The development took place on the 25th of December during a meeting on bilateral economic cooperation between Jay Shankar and Russia's Deputy Prime Minister Denis Menturov in Russia. Following this was another meeting conducted between Alexei Likhachev, Director General of Rosatom State Cooperation, and Ajit Kumar Mohanty, Chairman of the Atomic Energy Commission of India and Secretary of the Department for Atomic Energy of the Government of India. They signed another agreement on the 8th of February in Tamil Nadu. This particular protocol was based on amendments to the 2008 Intergovernmental Agreement on cooperation in the construction of additional nuclear reactors in the Kudankulam nuclear power project. It also included the provision for construction of Russian-designed nuclear power plants at new sites in India. Now, India is in the process of finalizing additional sites for Russian nuclear reactors. Speaking at an event in Mumbai on the 13th of May, India's External Affairs Minister S. Jay Shankar highlighted the ongoing collaboration between New Delhi and Moscow. He particularly emphasized on the significant progress made on the Kudankulam nuclear power plant in Tamil Nadu. S. Jay Shankar said, and I quote, We are currently under discussions regarding the Kudankulam plant. We are exploring additional sites for Russian reactors. This means that India will soon develop more nuclear reactor sites. Building additional reactors is bound to do two things. Firstly, it will not only bolster India's energy capacity, but secondly, it also reinforces its position as a key player in the global nuclear energy landscape. So let's dive deep into what is the current status of the Indo-Russian nuclear cooperation and what significance it holds for India. Russia has built four nuclear power plants of 1,000 megawatt each at Kudankulam and two more reactors of the same capacity are being built. Known to be the largest nuclear park in the country, Kudankulam provides a substantial contribution to India's energy needs. The operation of the first two units has already cut emissions of more than 47 million tons of CO2 and provided South India with necessary electricity. The joint construction of Units 3 and 4 and Units 5 and 6 at Kudankulam was initiated in 2017 and 2021 respectively. Two further units, Kudankulam 7 and 8, with AES 2006 units with VVER 1200 reactors, have been proposed as the fourth phase of this plant. The first batches of the two new types of fuel assemblies, the TVS-2M with an increased nuclear fuel load, were delivered by Ross Atom to the Indian power plant in June 2022. The project further underscores the commitment of New Delhi and Moscow to expand their nuclear energy cooperation. The nuclear plant is considered a flagship project of the Indo-Russian cooperation and is being built according to a modern generation 3 design with VVER-1000 reactors. Additionally, Russia's agreement to supply six more reactors to India solidifies the long-term prospects of this strategic partnership. In fact, on the sidelines of the latest visit by Ross Atom CEO A. E. Likachev in February to Kudankulam, he said both sides have gained enormous experience in cooperation during the construction of KNPP's first units. He said, and I quote, Already our cooperation extends beyond the borders of India. Indian companies are participating in Ross Atom's project to build the first nuclear power plant in Bangladesh, Rupur NPP, unquote. India and Russia are in discussions to collaborate on a range of activities including research on controlled thermonuclear fusion and joint development of the transit potential of the northern sea route. Legachev reiterated that Indian scientists could collaborate on conducting research at the most powerful research reactor in the world. As India and Russia are in talks to develop the multi-purpose fast neutron research reactor, it can open up unique opportunities for conducting research on a wide range of topics including medical purposes, research in the field of fundamental and applied physics, as well as interests of creating new materials. To further enhance its nuclear energy capabilities, India has become part of 
researching controlled thermonuclear fusion and developing the transit potential of the Northern Sea Route. But you must be wondering on the significance of the Arctic region and polar trade routes for India's interests. The Indo-Russian joint venture will ensure in giving India not only an alternative sea route for trade, but it will also open access to Arctic energy reserves, which have the potential to substantially impact India's energy dynamics and add to its energy security. The Arctic trade route is the shortest shipping route for freight transportation between Europe and countries of East Asia and Asia-Pacific region. Northern Sea Route is believed to be the hotbed for the largest unexplored hydrocarbon deposits remaining on Earth. Remember, in 2018, Ross Atom, which operates the world's only nuclear-powered icebreaker fleet, aimed to ease navigation, became the infrastructure operator of the NSR or the Northern Sea Route. India's collaboration with Ross Atom has seen the nation bounce back on the nuclear energy wave. However, the Civil Liability for Nuclear Damage Act of 2010 acted as a major hurdle in the progress of India's nuclear aspirations. S. Jay Shankar on the 13th of May highlighted the complexities surrounding the Civil Liability for Nuclear Damage Act 2010, which required extensive interactions with foreign suppliers to address their concerns. India's nuclear liability law ensures compensation available to victims for nuclear damage by any nuclear accident or incident. However, the complexities in the Indian law have complicated foreign efforts, especially by US, France and UK to supply advanced nuclear reactors to India. However, India has continued its investments in nuclear power through import of reactors from Ross Atom. Russia has liability insurance clause in its contracts, allowing state vertical Ross Atom to forge ahead with the deal, mainly because of such protections offered by the government in Moscow. After Russia, NSG member France jumped on the opportunity to cooperate with India. India and France are finalizing finance mechanisms for the Jaitapur nuclear power plant in Maharashtra that would generate 9,900 megawatts of energy, one of the biggest such facilities in the world. Nuclear energy cooperation seems to be a hurdle in the otherwise booming India-US defense and trade ties. And at a time when tensions between the West and Moscow are soaring, Russia has grabbed this opportunity to deepen energy ties with the soon-to-be third-largest global economy, India. Have your say. Is nuclear energy the answer to meet India's soaring industrial and domestic energy needs? Leave a comment below, hit the like button and remember to subscribe to InConnect News.